lot of problems defensively. The difference was a couple Danny Green threes and a LeBron James drive here and there. Listen, I was gonna say, he's being nice. He busted my butt and, you know, hopefully I'll be able to finish myself. And if not, then you lose to the best. Coming up on 2K Sports, it's the 2K Sports pregame show. And coming right up, we'll see this home squad playing against the Badgers. Well, for the Badgers, they haven't forgotten the fact that this team swept them last year in the regular season. This is a game they had circled going in. And here at the start of the season, Kenny, some teams still struggling to get into Welcome, fans. Thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of... Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Right there in fifth position, middle of the pack in the conference. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Richardson, go. and it's Melly in at the center, locking down the middle. They've got Barrett. He's out there with Williamson, and it's Stanley in at the two. Chris, we're getting into a new season, but already we're seeing teams hit uh, that injury bug early on. Yeah, Kevin, don't you just hate to see it? So hopefully I those do. guys come I back do. healthy. And, man, you hate seeing that, but I tell you what, again, injuries can always also have a positive effect. If you get that injured player back, let's just think you get to give guys time that didn't get that much time before. So they're getting kind of two seasons within one. The playoffs come, you get that healthy player back. And by the way, you have a guy that you've developed off the bench and now you have a deeper team, a little more depth. Jones tries again. Here's McCoy. The Badgers pull it in. Here's O'Connor. And it's Williamson with the rebound. to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the ball. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that <laughs> coaching staff, too. My goodness. Richardson outside. They double him with Williamson. Pass to O'Connor. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Yeah, 
Jones looking for an opening. And the three off target. Just one for five from the field now. I mean, they've come out flat. They need to pick up the energy. And there's the call on Jones. That's his first foul. And the Badgers with possession here. The Badgers working the ball around now. And he makes that one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you got to bring much faster help than that. The pass to Caldwell. And the next one puts him in the bonus. stolen by Williamson and thought that pass is going to get through but no all of a sudden he was going the other way with the basketball oh, they tailored their offense around him and let me tell you he loves playing in this system and about two minutes played here in the first quarter passes to O'Connor here's Caldwell defended by Jones and he just punishes the D for falling asleep at the wheel yeah, a little Disorganized that time, and the result two points in the loudest way possible. Oh, well, well, listen, guys, that was great work making them pay for the laps on defense. Richardson, the pass to Caldwell, and it's good for two. Caldwell's got his second basket of the night. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. So both teams changing it up here. Pass to West. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First trip to the line for him here. Wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. The free throw drops for West. And both free throws good for West. And the Badgers with possession here. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. And, and, and a lot of it is moving without the ball. When you do that, things tend to open up. Good on the bucket. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. The Badgers have gone 4-5 or five from the field so far. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Jacobs. The shot, no good. They've gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. And they take the lead. 54 seconds left here in the first quarter. To the middle. Here's Cooper. Lays it up off the glass. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half to the left side wing. Left side west. Let's it go from the wing. The rebound by Cooper. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something is rarely a good idea. Here's Morales. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. 
17 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Badgers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. A baseline J. The Badgers pull it in. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play and when you consider how the Badgers are doing guys what are your thoughts what we saw in that first quarter uh, they won their matchups defensively yeah they really got after it I mean they made life extremely difficult for the shooters which is why they hold this lead and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go here's the second quarter of play on the court right now for the Badgers they've got Cooper and it's Williams at the power forward position. Out to the right wing, from the arc. That shot is no good, and he's one for three from the floor. He gets 33%, struggling to get good looks. The shot from 20 feet away, and that one goes long. To the paint. There are a lot of people that say, Chris, the European players are more fundamentally sound overall. Are they right? Uh, well, I think when you look at a guy like uh, Doncic or, or, or Dirk or Przingis, yes. uh, you're, you're taking the best of the best and you're creating a whole field. So I can't say overall. I would say they've had some players that have come in and wowed us, uh, uh, and, and that's awesome. But also you have those guys going pro at the age of 13, 14, 15 years old. And so uh, I, I think they may miss out on a, on a little on, on some of uh, the other things that the life has to offer, like a normal high school experience, those type of things. But I tell you what, it's a copycat league and, and it's a copycat game. And so once you see players that are seven foot coming over, shooting, passing, dribbling, I think you could say guys like Kevin Durant and others, I think you can say uh, they're pretty sound overall. So I don't buy into that theory, but I do think uh, for a lot of Europeans, uh, being a professional early helps you transition into the NBA um, a little bit better maybe than guys coming out of college off of one year. I would agree. Here's Jacobs, wide open, and it's wide right, it's off the rim. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Jones with the bounce pass. Here's Morales. The shot misses. So the Badgers will take it the other way. This game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. It'll be the fourth game in a seven-game road trip. And there's the turnover. That's going out of bounds. <laughs> Come on, fellas, keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Pass to Barrett. Here's Williamson on the left block. It's tipped. Goes back up, and he sinks the layup. Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. The Badgers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Here's the pass to Melly. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. And the dunk by Williamson. He is a fantastic athlete for a power forward. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with hop. The Badgers have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. 
And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. A nice shot by Melly. Great decision. Great find. I mean, draws the double team and passes out of it to create the open look. Offensive rebound. Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Good to see a player going all when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. Yeah, Kevin, second chance opportunity so big in this instance. Yeah, they have to feel fortunate that they could extend that play. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. Being 33% in the second quarter. The offense has looked crossed up and confused at times. <laughs> Going high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Passes it to Melly. That's his fourth basket of the game and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. It's intercepted. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, yeah, no need to get the ball back here. You want to close this quarter with momentum. Just impress with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Jones, no luck. O'Connor the pass to Jacobs. Here's Melly. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. And so it's the visiting team with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Jones, well for the Badgers. Kenny, what do you think? I was super impressed with their sock selection. I think that was part of the strategy coming in. They wanted to be patient with the basketball, move it around, and get high percentage looks. Obviously, that's going to be big. And that'll do After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Being at 36%, they really seem out of sync offensively. They've got Jones, Williamson out there with Barrett, and it's McCoy at the five. And for the Badgers, they've got Richardson, and it's Melly in at the center. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Defended by Jones to the inside. And the basket by Caldwell. Caldwell's got the lead up to six now for the Badgers. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Caldwell's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Stanley. And it's Melly with the rebound. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. And there's the call on Jones. That'll be his second foul of the game. Some people have already uh, predicted future MVPs. Is there a surprise name that you think could win that MVP award, Chris, down the road? 
Ooh, I, I think there are a, a, a few surprises. I mean, we can go young with young guys like a, a Trey Young or, or Luka Doncic. We can go with guys that we expect to do it like a Anthony Davis, who this just seems like he's just biting at the bit. There's a few young Celtics. There's a few young Lakers that in a few years, you never know what they could do, especially the ones that are playing with great guys and watching their practice habits, game habits, stealing their uh, recipes or stealing their what they eat before the game and, and their health-wise. So, so many guys right now that are going to be in that second tier coming up. It's going to be fun to watch their growth. Yeah, real. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Pass to O'Connor. Stuffed. Just over a minute and a half played here on the third. In transition, here come the Badgers. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. And out of bounds as the Badgers gain possession. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second chance points in the league. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. Yeah, that one put them over the limit. And it's so early that if they're not careful, this could turn into a parade at the free throw line. Badgers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Now here's West. He's covered closely. Now the pass to Morales. From deep. But they recover it. Second chance shot. Count it. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Over in the corner, Williams for the three. Hands it from downtown. Williams has got the lead up to 11 now for the Badgers. Well, he's not going to get an easier look than that. You don't need to double team him, but you can't leave him all alone. And the shot goes down. Six points for him. Oh, I like the bounce pass there. He's getting creative. The Badgers have gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, last season, the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. Now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. And that will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do on the fast break. You're right, David. A welcome change. Thank you. Here's Claxton. Oh, wow! Nice! Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Jacobs, the pass to Cooper. It doesn't go for him gone five of seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. It's good. He'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. In the 
third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Pass to Claxton, just five to shoot. Stolen away. Here's Jacobs, and a missed layup. Defends the shot and grabs the rebound. About as big an impact as you can have on a possession. And so it's the visiting team bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll return shortly. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, I like that he didn't make his decision too early. You know, he let the play develop. That's how you do it. Finds the weakness in that defense. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Barrett is out there with Williamson. Then it's Jones. And it's McCoy in the center position. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Jones dishes the Barrett. Off target from three-point range. The Badgers leading by nine. Down low. Here's Melly. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Griff's middle of last season. Plenty of drama around the AD trade request. Davis wanting to leave New Orleans. Some say all publicity is good publicity. Uh, but Commissioner Silver clearly does not agree. I, I don't agree either. And I think if you go back, uh, the Lakers could say that's a self-inflicted wound. Some things are best left in the locker room. Let me tell you this. Every team tried to trade for AD except the team that didn't have him last year and maybe the Golden State Warriors. So everyone was out there. It just wasn't the rumors. And so, no, you never really like those rumors. They affect young players. They, they affect the player that may be being traded for. They affect the home fan base. All of that in-house. Uh, some things are better left, don't say. Inside, and he banks in the layup. Caldwell's got the lead up to 13 now for the Badgers. Oh, you get in inside like this, you're going to get a high percentage shot almost every time. Well, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He got on him. He said he's got to see more intensity. He said we've put ourselves in this hole, and we've got to work our way out of it. Tell me you've got what it takes. Guys. Thank you, David. I wouldn't want to be the guy who has to keep him off the boards. He is a beast on the offensive boards. <laughs> The Badgers leading by 11. And stolen by Williamson. Here we go, one on one, all alone. And it's good off the back rim and in. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency.
Here's Richardson. To the middle. And the powerful one-handed slam. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. It'll go in the Badger lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Stanford. I mean, he's out there on an island all by himself. I mean, good job to stay cool and train. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Passes it to Caldwell. To the paint. Here's O'Connor. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Drawn four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Here's Williamson. The baseline jumper goes down. Williamson's got eight here in the quarter. He's just not going to give up. If he has to do it all by himself, well, that's what he's going to do. Timeout call here. The Badgers will talk it over. They lead by nine. 115 left to play in the final quarter. And now a chance to check out some of the tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. And there's the call on Jones. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Down low, here's Melly, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Badgers. If they had to battle for this win, there were times when it looked like it was maybe slipping away a bit, but they never let that happen, which I thought was a real credit to them. And, and that's a product of their mental toughness. Anytime the flow of the game turned against them, instead of caving, they just dialed it up a notch and were able to pull away. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. He hits the first one, and that brings them to within ten. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. They're looking to get the most out of every possession. Frustrated to miss even one free throw right now. Pass to Caldwell. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. Both sides are selfish. It's just a total team effort. Well, that's almost a sure thing when you leave him that wide open on the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. Drops the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. He's perfect from the line this time. Oh, with a chance to ice the game, he's got perfect focus at the line. Now, you could put this one in the books. Here's Morales. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's on Jaleel Okafor. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. The Badgers making a switch here. Miller's checked in. Here's Miller. 
Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And there's the pass to McCarter. Here's the break. Finish off the break. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and that's an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul, fifth to the foul. At the line, Charlie Okafor. Two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Guys, your thoughts? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. Yeah, it's so important at this stage in the game for everyone to be on the same page and working together. <laughs> Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. That's his first personal foul. Two to the penalty. At the line, Charlie Okafor. At the line for two. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And he ends up missing both free throws. Unloads. And it's Williamson missing. That's his third personal foul. situation. At the line. It's the first that stretches their lead to eight. And so both free throws are good. And it's a nine-point ball game here. Here's Akio. Drops one in from the wing. So it's the Badgers picking up the win. They seem to relish their...